CV, New Zealand Business Council, and Speaker to Parliament, Honorable Otepeli Nelitkau, the New Zealand High Commissioner, Her Excellency, Mr. Shalo, sorry. President, Fiji, New Zealand Business Council, Mr. Renu Chan, and board members. The President, New Zealand, Fiji Business Council, Mr. Chandra Sen. The Governor of the Reserve Bank, Mr. Ali, Trade Advisor, New Zealand, to Fiji, Mr. David Dewar, the Chief Executive Officer of Investment in Fiji, Mr. Kamal Chetty, immediate past president of Fiji New Zealand Business Council, Mr. Vinay Nasi, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the media. Kia ora and miau sambulare, and good morning to you all. It is my pleasure to officiate as chief guest of this uh, Fiji New Zealand and New Zealand Fiji Business Council 2022 joint conference. Prior to the pandemic, Fiji and New Zealand had achieved the closest partnership in our nation's history. Trade and investment flowed between our people sector, such as manufacturing, mining, real estate, and retail. New Zealand was Fiji's second largest source of tourism, accounting for around a quarter million of business annually. In total, more than 5,000 Fijian companies have recorded traded in New Zealand over the past, past five years. The pandemic changed things. Both of our governments made, difficult, made the difficult but necessary choice to enter a period of relative isolation. Planes stopped flying in visitors, regional investments right up, projects stalled, and meetings such as this were relegated to webinars. Knowing how terribly affected our people were due to the economic fallout, Fiji took decisive steps to become one of the first countries in our region to reopen. We are now projecting record-breaking double-digit economic growth this year. New Zealand borders are open as well, which is wonderful news. With both our borders open, Fiji and New Zealand are both well and truly open for business, and we have a great deal of opportunity on the table to discuss today. Let me first acknowledge the work of Fiji New Zealand Business Council for organizing this two-day event. It is wonderful to see you all here in person. I would like to especially welcome the 30 Kiwi here as part of the New Zealand Fiji Business Council trade mission to Fiji. Bulubinaka and welcome to Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> this joint council is an important staging ground for cooperation between business and government leaders from Fiji and New Zealand. The Fiji Business Council, true to its purpose, to promote friendship, goodwill, and understanding between the business communities of Fiji and New Zealand, continues to actively facilitate business relationships as well as people-to-people -people interactions to stimulate domestic and export trade. There is a security forging this uh, relationship within our region. The past two years have shown us how volatile and increasingly unreliable global supply chains can prove to be. As island nations, we will always be importers in some way or another. Expanding trade within our region is simply a more resilient model. The Fiji New Zealand Business Council, which could include, include close collaborative work with the Fiji Australian Business Council. A few years ago, these two Fiji-based councils hosted a joint conference that included their respective sister councils. The New Zealand Fiji Business Council and the Australia Fiji Business Council. I hope to see another one soon. The Fiji B New Zealand Business Council also works relatively closely with the New Zealand High Commission to Fiji. This collaboration includes relevant assistance that is required to provide the networks and connections to help get more trade flowing. Ladies and gentlemen, the recent re-establishment of the New Zealand Trade Commissioner to the Pacific is a pivotal moment for the Business Council. This role has been vacant for quite some time and having this position filled now is both the timely for Fiji as it continues its economic recovery. 
The New Zealand Trade Commissioner to the Pacific works closely with the New Zealand business with pre-existing connections with Fiji as well as those hoping to establish relationship with Fiji. The appointment of a New Zealand Trade Commissioner to the Pacific demonstrates New Zealand's commitment to the Ndoa partnership between Fiji and New Zealand. This also opens new frontiers of cooperation for our two countries in terms of trade and development. This relationship has led to the promotion of a business mentoring program for the Fiji New Zealand Business Council members in collaboration with the Learn Fast Center based in New Zealand. Later on, you shall have the opportunity to hear to hear from mentors of the program who will share the experience. Our recovery is off to a great start. For 2022, data shows that New Zealand is Fiji's third largest trading partner for goods trade, both as a source of imports and as Fiji's largest export market. In acknowledging the work of the Joint Council over the past three decades, I would like to shed some light on a few issues close to my heart, which I hope you will include in the discussions. Government has gone to extraordinary lengths to support our farmers in managing what can be called as price increases for input costs. There is an opportunity for more diversion that taps the talent of our farmers, our hospitable climate, and our island's large swath of arable land. Ultimately, farmers who practice mixed scarce copying are more resilient and successful at making a living. There lies an opportunity for the two business council support projects that assist farmers with technical expertise and export marketing resource to expand into new lucrative crops and more compelling way to value add to the, to the high quality agricultural products that Fijian farmers produce. Our group Pacific is also home to many untapped opportunities, the ocean space. That is why Fiji has set itself on a path to become the world's bluest economy. New Zealand has a wealth of expertise and resource with recycling, renewable energy, coastal protection, and aquaculture. Let's bring more of these minds to Fiji. Fiji's ocean covers 1.3 million square kilometers of ocean, including some of the world's richest reefs. We are committed to sustainably managing every inch of it. That makes for 1.3 million reasons for the Council should be exploring avenues for exchange information, expertise, and related resources in the ocean arena. It is this century's greatest opportunity. Madam President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the 24th of June commemorates the start of the Maori New Year also known as Matariki. This is a time to reflect on the past and those that have passed away. Celebrate the present and plan for the year ahead. With that said, I wish you well in your deliberations and for much success for both councils and this joint conference. Matariki te tau ho Maori. Happy Matariki and Maori New Year. May the Almighty bless our respective countries, New Zealand and Fiji, and our peoples abundantly. Nahawalim.